Oh, hello, it's Miss Gina, and I'm glad you're here. It's story time with Miss Gina. But I want to give a shout out and a happy birthday to Miss Katie. She has a birthday today, 2992. It's 2924. I believe we're 32. 1012. <laughs> she knows what those numbers mean. Today is a new moon. It's February 9th, 2024. We are in February, and the groundhog says that spring is coming soon. And tomorrow is the Chinese New Year. And the 13th of February is Mardi Gras. And Valentine's Day will be next Wednesday on the 14th. And National Flag Day is the 15th. And the first quarter moon will be on the 16th. And we have presents. President's Day and Family Day in Canada on the 19th of February. And I want to sing a happy birthday to a 17th and 18th of February birthdays. They know who they are. And so let's just sing happy birthday. And I also wanted to let you know that there are 29 days in February this year because it's a leap year. This year is a leap year. So let's sing happy birthday to those folks. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday, Katie. Happy birthday to you, Kai. Happy birthday. Day to you, Adams. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, and many more. And we got one more song, and then we're going to get into our chapter book. We're on chapter 12. So I thought this would be appropriate. It's Old McDonald's Farm. And Charlotte's Web is about a farm, and it's about a pig, and it's about a spider. And he some pig last time. So, and this is Old MacDonald. It says, Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O and A-E-I-O-U are vowels. And E I E I O R two A E I O U. <laughs> They're vowels. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. And on that farm he had a cow. E I E I O. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. There's cute little daisies and there's a cow. And there's, is that a tiger? It looks like a tiger. And some cows. And on that, this farm he had some sheep. Ba ba. With the bye bye here and the bye bye there. Here, bye, there, bye, everywhere, bye bye. And on this farm he had a pig. With the oink oink here and the oink oink there. Here and oink, there and oink, everywhere and oink oink. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. See those pigs in the mud? Oh my goodness, that was the oink oink you heard. And see the bat, that's a sheep. Sheeps go bat, bat. Sounds like they're saying bad, but they're not. They're saying bad. They call it bleeding. Not bleed, but bleat. Ting with a T, I believe. And on his farm, he had a horse with a neigh, neigh here and a neigh, they there. That's kind of what the horses sound like. Oh, MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And 
and on that farm he had a chicken, E-I-E-I-O. With a cluck, cluck here and a cluck, cluck there. Here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck, cluck. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. So there's some sunflowers and some little chickens. You see all the sunflowers and all the little chickens. It's a very cute little farm. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a rooster with a cock-a-doodle-doo. Cock-a-doodle here and a cock-a-doodle there. With a there and a here. And a cock-a-doodle-doo there. And so... There's those roosters. They make a lot of noise in the mornings. Yes, they do, and it looks like that pig was driving a tractor. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a crow, E-I-E-I-O. With a caw, caw here and a caw, caw there. Here a caw, there a caw, everywhere a caw, caw. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a loud crow, E-I-E-I-O. With a crow, crow here and a crow, crow there. Here a crow, there a crow, everywhere a crow, crow. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And here's that last picture. It's a cute picture. And there it was. So we're going to move right on into Charlotte's Web. And I dropped my number. We're on chapter 12. Remember what 12 was in Roman numerals? It's an X and an I-I. In Roman numerals, X is 10 and I is 1. So we have 10 11, 12, 12, we're on chapter 12. And we have one carrot, two carrots, three carrots, four carrots, five carrots, six carrots, seven carrots, eight carrots, nine carrots, 10 carrots, 11 carrots, 12 carrots. And we could also say four carrots, eight carrots, 12 carrots. We're on chapter 12. So here we go. We're going to jump right in. A meeting. One evening, a few days after the writing had appeared in Charlotte's Web, the spider called a meeting of all the animals. All the animals in the barn cellar were called to this meeting. I shall begin by calling Roll. Wilbur, here, said the pig. Gander, here, 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 said the gander. You should like three ganders. You sound like three ganders. <laughs> you should like to have three at the meeting? No. He does. They do repeat things, the gander and the goose. You sound like three ganders, muttered Charlotte. Why can't you just say here? Why do you have to repeat everything? It's my idio, idio, idiosyncrasy replied the gander. Goose, said Charlotte. Here, 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 said the goose. Charlotte glared at her. Goslings, one through seven. Bee, 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 said the goslings. Do you think they inherited that trait of saying everything three times? Sounds like it. This is getting to be quite a meeting said charlotte anybody would think we had three ganders three geese and 21 goslings sheep he ah ah answered the sheep all together lambs he ah answered the lambs all together templeton no answer templeton no answer. 
Well, we are all here except the rat, said Charlotte. I guess we can proceed without him. Now, all of you must have noticed what's been going on around here the last few days. The meeting I wrote in my web, she didn't write a meeting in her web, she wrote a message. They're having a meeting about the message in the web. So the message I wrote in my web, praising Wilbur, has been received. <coughs> Excuse me. The Zuckermans have fallen for it, and so has everybody else. Zuckerman thinks Wilbur is an unusual pig, and therefore we won't want to kill he won't want to kill him and eat him. I dare say my trick will work. And Wilbur's life can be saved. Hooray, cried everybody. Thank you very much, said Charlotte. Now I called this meeting in order to get suggestions. I need new ideas for the web. People are already getting sick of reading the words, some pig. If anybody can think of another message or remark, I'll be glad to weave it into the web. Any suggestions for a new slogan? How about Pig Supreme? Asked one of the lambs. It's a short chapter. We've only got a couple more pages. No good, said Charlotte. It sounds like a rich dessert. How about Terrific, Terrific, Terrific? Asked the goose. Cut that down to one Terrific. And it will do very nicely, said Charlotte. I think terrific might impress Zuckerman. But Charlotte, said Wilbur, I'm not terrific. That doesn't make a particle of difference, replied Charlotte. Not a particle. People believe almost anything they see in print. Does anybody here know how to spell Terrific. I think, said the gander, it's T double E double R double R double I E Y E double F F double E. He's got double I E Y E double C C C C C S E E like our sight word. What kind of an acrobat do you think I am? Said Charlotte in disgust. I would have to have St. Vegas's dance to weave a word like that into my web. Sorry, 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 said the gander. Then the oldest sheep spoke up. I agree that there should be something new written in the web. If Wilbur's life is to be saved... If Charlotte needs help in finding words, I think she can get it from our friend Templeton. The rat visits the dump regularly and has access to old magazines. He can tear out bits of advertisements and bring them up here to the barn cellar so that Charlotte can have something to copy. Good idea, said Charlotte, but I'm not sure Templeton will be willing to help. You know how he is always looking out for himself, never thinking of the other fellow. I bet I can get him to help, said the old sheep. I'll appeal to his baser instincts, of which he has plenty. Here he comes now. Everybody keep quiet while I put the matter up to him. The rat entered the barn and was he all, excuse me, <laughs> I'm not seeing it all well tonight. The rat entered the barn the way he always did, creeping along the close to the wall. What's up, he asked, seeing the animals assembled. We're holding a director's meeting, replied the old sheep. Well, break it up, said Templeton. Meetings bore me. 
and the rat began to climb a rope that hung against the wall. Look, said the old sheep, next time you go to the dump, Templeton, bring back a clipping from a magazine. Charlotte needs new ideas so that she can write messages in her web and save Wilbur's life. Let him die, said the rat. I should worry. You'll worry all right when next winter comes, said the sheep. You'll worry all right on a zero morning next January when Wilbur is dead. And nobody comes down here with a nice pail of warm slops to pour into the trough. Wilbur's leftover food is your chief source of supply, Templeton. You know that. Wilbur's food is your food. Therefore, Wilbur's destiny and your destiny are closely linked. If Wilbur is killed and his trough stands empty day after day, you'll grow so thin we can look right through your stomach and see objects on the other side. That doesn't sound good. Templeton's whiskers quivered. Maybe you're right, he said gruffly. I'm making a trip to the dump tomorrow afternoon. I'll bring back a magazine clipping if I can find one. Thanks, said Charlotte. The meeting is now adjourned. I have a busy evening ahead of me. I've got to tear my web apart and write terrific. T-E-R-R-I-F-I-C. Wilbur blushed, but I'm not terrific. Charlotte, I'm just about average for a pig. You're terrific as far as I'm concerned, replied Charlotte sweetly, and that's what counts. You're my best friend, and I think you're sensational. Now stop arguing and go get some sleep. And that's page 91. And next time, we'll be on X, I, I, I. And that's 13 in Roman numerals. We'll be on chapter 13 next time. And it's called Good Progress. I'll give you a sneak peek. She's working on her new web. It almost looks like a bicycle spokes on a tire, doesn't it? A little bit. So, 12 is over. We read it. We're on page 92 next time. So I want you to remember to read more in 2024 and grow your brain. And I hope you enjoyed that story. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.